Okay, so now that you've got um, your blinking sorted, um, again, I'll just show you what I've gone with, with mine. So I've pretty much done it on all the quick eye movements, but I've also just put a couple of blinks in there as well because that's how we keep our eyeballs wet after all. So this is what mine looks like. Uh, it never plays when I do that. Let's try again. There you go. So he's now blinking and looking around and doing weird things with his bushy old eyebrows. Love it. Right, so now it's time to um, do his mouth. So I've kept those, the mouth and the audio layer together. I'm going to lock every other layer so I can't cock it up. So I've just clicked on that lock at the top and I'm just going to unlock the mouth layer. Okay. What I'm also going to do is turn on onion skinning, um, which is... Let's turn that one on, that little chap. And that means that I can see a few frames behind me, which is what I want. So I'm just going to set my own skin up like this so I can see a couple of frames behind me, but I'm not really interested in seeing in front. So his mouth's going to stay um, closed up until about there. So I'm going to put a keyframe in here, F6, and that keeps his mouth shut here, and I'll put in a L sound on this frame. So I'm going to look in my phonemes. These are the ones I've created because um, sometimes I get bored like that. And there's pretty much every sound you could want. If not, you'll just have to improvise um, with one of the ones that's already there. So that is what I'm using for uh, a L. So all you do is you drag it from your library. Or you try to anyway. Oh, my mistake. I haven't put a keyframe in yet. F6. There we go. Right. So I'll delete that Oh god, undo. Right, so I will delete this one. And then I will drag this one from the library. And I will try and line that up. So that to me looks like a L sound. So then what you can do as well, just to edge your playhead forward and backward. If you use the full stop and comma keys, you might find that useful. So I know that after the L... I'm going to get a la, so I need an A sound. I don't think there's an R sound. Let's have a look what we've got. Yeah, I'm going to go with this one. So I'm then going to drop in another blank keyframe. That's F7 on your keyboard. And then just take that from here and drop it into place. So you can see that this is coming together already. So, la. There's another l here. So I'm gonna get that. Insert a blank keyframe. So if I just put things where I know they're gonna be, that'll make my life just a tidge bit easier. So there's another l. There's another l sound here. Insert blank keyframe. Okay, I'll get another one. I don't know why I just dragged that again, because it was already in the right place. In between here, I'm going to need an A sound. So, let's get one of those. It's probably not the, the most varied bit of dialogue to do, to be fair. But already, this will be starting to come together. So if we just play this now... There you go. So you can see already, it's not ace yet, but that's coming together. What I now want you to do with your little mester is go through your dialogue. Again, don't do any more than 10 seconds because that'll be overkill for this. But just pick your 10 seconds that you want to do and then lip sync that sequence. If you um, are careful with it um, and you, you think before you put things down, you should be able to get that done in about 10 minutes. Um, or less to be fair because it is only 10 seconds so what I'll do is um, I will now st I'll stop this video here I'll let you get that done and in the next video we'll have a look at the final things and we'll look at exporting it okay good stuff I hope it looks good when you do it good luck